Good evening, guys. Uh, we are here once again with uh, Sankarshan and Yesh. Today, we are going to take up uh, the album uh, from Hajj, Tintin and the Destination Moon, and Tintin on the and Tintin and the Explorers on the Moon. So, like this is a twin album, and uh, this is one of the more celebrated works of Hajj. Uh, the rocket uh, was uh, uh, the depicted uh, this uh, launch of the rocket and the uh, uh, went to the moon. This was like 17 years before. Before. Uh, yeah. Actually. Now he's basically a visionary. He was, yeah. He was a visionary. And uh, uh, when I read this, I was like very, very excited. And I was uh, a kid back then. So today we will uh, know from these kids that uh, how did they feel after almost uh, uh, maybe uh, 70 years this book was written. So we will know their response. So yeah, we will start with Sankarshan. Sankarshan, what was your, the, what did you like in the book? Uh, there are two things which I liked the most. The first one was the knowledge of Professor Calculus. It was very amazing. He was the only one who knows about motors, which is very useful in rockets. And he made one device to explore rockets uh, in few hours which was told by Tintin. And the second thing I liked the most was the landing of the rocket from after returning from moon. Uh, it was very amazing. The oxygen content was very less and carbon dioxide was very high. I think that they will die, but they survived and Tintin uh, don't know anything about rockets and all, but uh, uh, after tolling from the earth about uh, when we, Mr. Baxter told, uh, Bob Baxter told about that, then I think that uh, Tintin landed very amazingly. Uh, uh, from that, I get to know that Tintin was very good uh, learner. Uh, I like that part very much. Very good, very good. So in a very, very adverse situation, Tintin did not lose his mind and he managed to land the rocket. And you are very right. This uh, story does bring out the full range of uh, Captain Calculus's uh, capabilities because uh, he was the person instrumental in designing the rocket. And then he also volunteered to uh, go to the moon in the rocket himself, which was a very risky thing to do. Yeah, Yes. what was your favorite uh, part of in the book? I like that uh, it was a science fiction book, but it was also very enjoyable. Okay, what do you mean? Like, they gave, they gave depth in science, like science fiction, and also in like the main plot. Okay, so what do you mean that it was a science fiction and it was very enjoyable? They also, Harry also stressed on the science fiction part, like, you can see about he, about the details he has given on the rocket. Like he has he has drawn a blue pen print of the rocket. Yeah, and enjoyable part. You mean to say that it was not difficult to read? Yeah, it was not difficult to read. Apart from apart from one part where they talked about cadmium pipes and some more parts where they were talking about the building of the rocket, I couldn't understand that a lot. But that was not related to the main story, so yeah, I okay. understood the story pretty well. Okay, great. So although it was about rockets and moons and like this one, a normal uh, person who is not interested in science fiction will also enjoy the story because it's more the more the story of adventures, correct? And it is easy read. Yeah. What else did you did you like anything else about the book? Yeah, again, I like the humor. Like humor is constant in Tintin. If you have read it. This humor was given by Cap Captain Hedoft also. It was in intentional. And C Professor Calculus this time. And also Tom Thompson and Thompson. Okay, can you elaborate on that? Yeah. So Captain Hedoft, we see many scenes. He trips over. He has some kinds of accident going on every time the book. And then Calculus actually, like one time Captain Hedoft called him, you're acting like the goat. Okay. And then he got very angry, like, can the goat do this? He he shows the rocket, what's in the rocket. And then the mo most funny scene I found in that was where he goes inside the rocket and shows it to Tintin and he's like, Captain Herock, mind your steps. And and then Cap Captain Herock's like, I almost fell down. And then 
calculus all like, you clumsy yeah. you and then he also fall, falls off for yeah and and, that, that and, was funny yeah. and for a moment he loses his memory yeah he has temporary and, and and then captain head of calls to calls him the goat again and then he gains back his memory so that was pretty funny yeah incident. that was a very very funny incident and then thompson and thompson like they grow the hair that was kind of weird but it was also pretty humorous and yeah. also that this was yeah. book was very exciting the landing was exciting although i could see from the book uh, that they had already landed on the moon because very intense and exciting like i was waiting where will they what will they find on the moon okay will there be water okay so like uh, although you knew that they would be actually landing on the moon because the title itself is explorers on the moon yeah. so still you found the entire yeah tintin sequence. passed out yeah it was very intense and anything, then yeah yeah anything the, else the the sacrifice of this thing dr wolf yeah actually didn't like the sacrifice i was very, it was very touching actually i like dr wolf a lot because like he was blackmailed to like sabotage the plan sabotage the mission yes yeah but And... he also saved tin tintin life like when he shooting the gun he's like you you all go out of the this thing yeah he's the gun and then professor like king try str- struggles with him and then by mistake the for the what do you say the the gangster kills himself yeah the gun then, goes off the gun goes yeah. off yeah yeah it was not intentional but and then also he sacrifices himself so that was very emotional like captain head of calls him a thug and then when he finds out that he has sacrificed himself it was very sad moment for me yeah then he says that why are you calling this person gem of a person he says he praises him a lot yeah so that was also overall this was a very excitable read okay. it's been yes. my favorite book from the tintin series this is your favorite book from the tintin series okay yeah so great so anything else you would like to say sankarshan or yes otherwise today we will keep it short and uh, we invite uh, viewers that if they want to join this uh, uh, book club they are most welcome they can uh, connect with us and uh, we do tell the books that we are going to discuss in advance but we don't uh, uh, prepare for this uh, this uh, this yeah. discussion it is uh, extempore i do give the questions but i basically we do not uh, uh, prepare on that so if your kid joins it will definitely develop his or her uh, analytical skills uh, creativity and a very very important thing that's required in today's uh, world is uh, his ability to conduct himself on the on the video so yeah. you are most welcome to connect with us and join this club yeah uh, great thanks so yeah, i think we can, we will our next meeting will be after 30 days because i have exams coming up so i can't do it and I also after 30 days we krishan and ahan also will join us it's not that they have left yeah ahan is like preparing for his exams uh, a bit earlier than yash and yash will mm-hmm. start preparing now so uh, we will take a little break and then we will come back again. yeah so take care and thanks for everyone goodbye